Tell me why we decided to end the mission this way. Why not just let the fuel be done and land wherever? Well, uh, on the moon there are about 23 uh, heritage historical sites and these are sites where either the uh, US or the Russians have, have a soft lander and uh, the NASA policy is to not to disturb those sites to stay within to stay outside of two kilometers so we wanted to miss those sites the other thing is we wanted to know exactly where we landed or where we're gonna crash and so we're coming up from the south and uh, we want to get good tracking data of, of the final moments and then we're going to crash on the north, the northern uh, hemisphere of the moon. And so we wanted lots of data, tracking data, to know where we actually crash. Now we have visuals and animation showing exactly the trajectory of the, the two spacecraft. Walk us through what will be happening and we can actually see that animation and we can go ahead and take a look at it. It, it will start uh, on a globe view. Here we go. All right, so this is ebb and flow. Uh -huh. The uh, one leads the other by about 20 seconds. And uh, they're going to be coming up from, from the southern hemisphere. And uh, they're already about halfway there right now. And uh, uh, about at 2.28 p.m., we're actually going to do the, the impact on, on the moon. And there you have it. 